Hi guys and welcome to another Kundalini activation session and our little talks. Today, whilst you're receiving this quantum healing energy, just connect to the energy. You might have seen my previous videos where I don't really need to use my hands. It just makes it slightly easier for you to focus on something. But you can just focus on the energy of the entire screen. It's more subtle, but yet more powerful. Today, I just want to open the discussion about karma. First of all, in today's world, people think karma means cause and effect. And if you look into the ancient text, karma has nothing to do with cause and effect. It's to do with our journey between lives. So if you lead a dualistic, positive life, your next life will be better. And if you lead a dualistically negative life, then it'll be worse in the next life. However, cause and effect are also powerful things. Of course, cause and effect in a social society, obviously, there are consequences to actions. People will hold you accountable. So we could say karma is real, as in cause and effect. They're two different things. And of course, the more you believe, belief is the strongest matrix. The more you believe in cause and effect, the more you believe in karma. Of course, the more real it is. So for those who choose to believe in karma, there's nothing wrong with believing in karma. It works for you, it works. But no, when you do damage to others, it's going to come back on you. And if you look at cause and effect, some people say everything you do is times by three. So if you do something negative towards someone, it's going to come back at you thrice as strong. And positive, the same. However, we don't focus on the positive, we focus on the negative. And whilst we focus on the negative, of course, thrice the negative things, if you do bad to other people, it's going to come back at you three times stronger. However, you shift from the negative and you move to the positive, you can also create it three times stronger through the power of belief. Yet if we move from yogic understandings to the older tantric understandings, classical tantra, not western tantra, the karma doesn't exist. It takes a lot to be able to change your belief. In my previous video I talked about cutting the roots to kill the tree, the mental mind, it's the same thing for karma. Some people need karma. Some people, karma's good. It keeps some people in check. Let's others reap the rewards for what they do. But if you can free yourself from karma, and one of the highest goals of yoga is to free yourself from karma. So why keep peeling back the leaves? Like as in previously, why not just cut off at the roots? Then there is no karma. Of course, that means you do something positive. Don't expect a reward. Just as if you do something negative, it won't. I'm back at you.
Of course, if you're doing this for negative things, that's going to be a challenge. But if you do it positively, you don't care about you doing good to receive good, which they also say that kills the effect of calm, positive calm. You're just a good person, you do the right things. You don't make false claims against people. You don't tell lies. You're honest. You're just generally a good person. Then you can be at peace. If you live, I do positive to get positive. Really? Is that really the way? Or should we just not do things in a good, healthy way? To do things. In that way, everybody benefits. The world benefits. We can think about this on every single level. From the tiniest things of driving your car less to pollute less, holding on to a mobile phone as long as you can and not just buying the new and shiny. Buying secondhand, buying refurbished. Everything. Growing your own food without fertilizers. From ancient seeds. Collecting water. Generating your own power. All these little things that we can all do. Save water. Every little bit helps, we can all do it. Heating. Don't have it at 23 degrees in winter, have it at 18. Air conditioning. Don't have it freezing, have it at the minimum. Survive without it, if you can, depending where you live. As well as if you see trash on the floor, just pick it up and put it in a bin. Hopefully a recycling one. As well as generally being pleasant and welcoming, perhaps talking to strangers, saying hello, opening doors for people, all these little things. Don't open the door, it's a very English thing, for example. You open the door and you expect the person to thank you. If they don't thank you, then they get very upset. Well, that's not the point. You open the door to open the door. Don't expect the thank you. So they might not say thank you, but if everyone opens the door for them, they might eventually end up opening the door for someone else. Or paying it forwards. It takes time for things to change. But that is the power positive humanity. Being yourself, being at peace, doing things just because it feels nice to do it. How many people have got Facebook, for example? It lists birthdays. How many people don't bother Someone comes up and says, oh, it's their birthday. How many people don't bother these days just to hit the thing that says happy birthday already done? Who doesn't bother to hit that anymore and send it? We'll just hit it and send it. These are all these little things. Call an old friend. Call your kids, call your parents. All these little things. rebuild positivity and creativity. Putting the phone down, putting social media down, reconnecting around you to real life would also greatly help. What do you think? way off path, do you agree? 
put it in the comments and say, awesome, or no, I disagree, we shouldn't do that. We let go, what I'm basically talking about is letting go of ego. Not doing things for the reward. Just doing it helps us let go of ego and that's how, again, we kill those roots. Because the roots and the trunk of the tree that I talked about in the last video, that is the ego. We bear these things in mind today. If you like this, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it on social media.